Hey babes, my name is Chad Linus. I'm going to be doing a patch rundown video for your benefit. I'll be just covering only really the competitive environment for this game, Fortnite, the BR side, uh, all these other things like the videos, previews, all that stuff, other UI, streamlining performance adjustments like that. You can just look at yourself. I'll have the link to this patch in the description below for your benefit as well there. Myself, I am Chad Lannis. Like I said before, I have over 700 wins in the game uh, for Battle Royale. I also have hundreds of hours played, of course. I do shoutcasting and commentary for tournaments in Fortnite. I also provide a lot of analysis and I live stream a lot of this too on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash live, uh, tw slash live stream, twitch.tv slash Chad Lannis for anybody who wants to be able to watch these things happen live for analysis what in game. Also, watch Shoutcasting, follow my Twitter and all that. Those links are in the comments below as well. So you can know exactly when I will be doing the Shoutcasting events experiences. Moving forward. Battle Royale. Big change for close range combat. Shotguns. They change how the pellet spread works. For anybody who doesn't know how shotguns work, they shoot out all these little pellets in a random pattern every shot. So it's showing just one damage number. That's just because the game's for your benefit. Just combining and adding up all those pellet damage numbers individually into one solid number for you to keep track of easily mid-fight. But right now, well previously really, the pellets all spread out in a random pattern. Moving forward, they're going to be a little bit more consistent and reliable because they're going to be set patterns that we can probably test in like the playground mode and stuff. So we can kind of get an idea of how we can utilize the shotgun spread set patterns to our benefit to be more reliable overall long story short it's just going to be a more reliable consistent shotgun damage heavy shotguns have more pellets now but they're basically a slug round anyway because it's such a compact tight spread of pellets shouldn't really be an issue with them adding more pellets uh, so overall more consistent shotgun play kind of nerfed though overall the shotgun usage because they're making it so that if you fire one shotgun immediately after firing a shotgun if you switch to another shotgun may it be a heavy pump or tack you have to wait a delay before you can fire that second shotgun so what this means is probably the double shotgun meta out the window what we'll likely do moving forward is going to be a pump or heavy shotgun combined with a tack smg or a drum gun that's more likely than not going to be the optimal setup moving forward Look into that for your more optimal setup for your own games. Be competitive. Single tack shotgun might work out because of the whole spread pattern thing. So maybe just only running one tack shotgun could be good. But again, we'll have to test that to really make sure we're just forecasting here for the meta moving forward. They did nerf hunting rifle aim assist, likely more so for controller players uh, to match more of the aim assist or whatever for other sniper rifles. PC players, not really a big deal. Also, for anybody who might not know, I'm a PC player myself, so a lot of my knowledge for this game is based on mouse and keyboard play, though I have played console and I also shall cast console tournaments, so I have a good idea of how console play goes with controller players. Speaking of which, suppress SMG nerf. For PC players, you might be like, what? Because nobody at the top level of the competitive scene on PC, mouse keyboard, really uses the suppress SMG. But on console, I've been seeing a lot more suppressed SMG usage, though still not that much. So it's still kind of a confusing, questionable thing. Uh, the nerf that going suppressed SMG's way, but still, it's there. What they did to nerf it is reduce their range for maximum damage. They made the damage fall off start earlier. So basically, at those longer ranges, you're going to start doing less damage than you were beforehand. So pretty much nobody really used these anyway especially on PC mouse keyboard players. The metas may be different on console to PC and such, but this really just feels like it wasn't really necessary. Definitely a head scratcher. New item added to the game, the all-terrain cart. It's basically a shopping cart on steroids. You can have four people in it instead of the shopping carts too. Also, the top of it acts as a balance pad. Sick, that should be really fun. You get a speed boost while drifting. Not sure how that mechanic works. They didn't really explain it, but you can drift. Also, the people on the rear seats for the all-terrain cart can do a mechanic where they pull back or move back, whatever, and they'll be able to push forward and they'll be able to release it. And you can do like hops, like ollies with your golf cart there. That should offer a lot of funny moments as well as some clutch moments while you're traveling very fast around the map. 
What they didn't mention, and I hope that happens, is that the golf cart here can go faster uphill. Shopping cart's big issue is it doesn't go fast at all uphill. You're basically a sitting duck sitting still on that shopping cart uphill. So because there's a lot of uphill movement up mountains, hills, etc. Hopefully the all-terrain cart, the golf cart goes fast uphill. Also, map update. They're adding a little kind of island to the map. The map's a big island already. But they're adding like a small island to the side that you'll be able to get to. It's a desert biome and anybody doesn't know what a biome is. Something I learned in Minecraft days is things like on map already is like those forest landscapes. There's mountainous regions like on the west side of the map. There's also on the east side of the map currently there's like the, all the great plains kind of a biome. And it's also around the loot lake. It's like a lake or water biome you can call it. They're adding a desert biome that's going to be like an island location. You can actually see that kind of shown in the announcement trailer for season five so definitely check that out um how you get there as there's going to be two new named locations paradise palms and lazy links as well as a bunch of unnamed locations kind of like how we've had prison all along that's never been named how we're going to get there is going to be either building over to it and or using those rifts we definitely know you can use the rifts to get there is it going to be a random placement where you get out of the rift? Is it going to be set locations where you go into one rift and you definitely come out this one spot? Hopefully the former. So if it's not going to be a situation where people plan for people coming out of the rift and just set up traps there and they just die to traps, that would be terrible. So hopefully it's random locations. You go into a rift and come out another part of the map. And if that's happening, that I imagine you'd be able to build to the desert island as well. So that's not confirmed these patch notes. I guess we'll have to find out when we play season five. Other change is that launch pads and cozy campfires can now destroy overlapping small objects when placed, which means like if you have a campfire, you're really weak, early game skirmishes, try and go into a building. There's a chair there on the floor. Oh man, you gotta bring out your pickaxe and go destroy that little chair or the nightstand or whatever. Now you can just drop the campfire immediately on the floor. It destroys automatically all those things. You don't get the materials for it, but automatically destroys all those things. You can instantly start healing. Or if it's like on the roof, you can instantly just use a jump pad or a bounce pad what was it launch pad there it is you can use a launch pad to destroy like an ammo box that might be on top of the roof or like a air conditioning vent or something right instead of having to destroy that first and then drop the launch pad just drop it instantly and make a quick getaway or instantly for quick healing this isn't does not mention bounce pads though so i guess that will still be affected as well as damage traps by small objects maybe that'll be a change in the future who knows Everything else about those patch notes are just kind of quality of life adjustments, streamlining the process, the affected kind of challenging and challenge how challenges work, battle pass stuff, etc. They also improved how the replay system works. They improved how mobile goes for mobile users out there. None of those really affect the competitive environment, especially not on PC or console play. That's going to do it right here. If you liked what I did for this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you want to see something better or improved upon, also, leave a comment for me. That'd be awesome. As mentioned before, I do live streaming on twitch.tv slash Thailand. So definitely check out my live stream. I do it daily. Uh, with exception to the weekend when this video is released, because I'm actually going to Guardian Con, which is a charity convention and a big gaming convention that I do once a year. But then I'll be back for daily streams. I cover Fortnite. Again, tournament play. I've also come from the D2 community, Destiny community. And I do some Warframe here and there. That's me. Moving forward, though. Summary. Shotgun play changed. Probably good with one shotgun instead of two. Combine it with attack SMG or drum gun. That shotgun is going to be more consistent by itself, though. Otherwise, take rifts at your own risk. Use those all-terrain carts for fun and faster transportation on the map. Everything else is pretty much, as always, SMG nerf. Yikes. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully, tune into the future ones. And thank you for being beautiful.